It's day 23 of the UAW strike, and this weekend is the first weekend since it began that we didn't see more walkouts. UAW President Sean Fain says contract talks are progressing and includes a big concession from GM, but that didn't stop Fain from joining a rally in Chicago today. We want to bring in Local 4's automotive expert Rod Maloney. Rod, what did Fain's appearance today mean for these talks? Well, his appearance today means a lot in the broader scheme of things, Pam, because you see, there are two major plants in Chicago that are involved and are, on, are being struck essentially right now. The Belvedere plant is not being struck, but it's closed. Fane wants an open, he wants work there. That's job security in his estimation. Then you also have the Chicago assembly plant, the Ford plant that makes the uh, Explorer and also the Aviator very important vehicles for Ford. But what this does more than anything is that it takes the UAW out of Detroit. It makes it a national entity. And that's what it always has claimed it to be, but it's become in recent years more of a Detroit thing. So he goes to Chicago, a major media market where he goes with national union uh, leadership, and he starts talking about the union movement in the United States. And this gives him the opportunity to be able to say that there's added value by being with the UAW. And he also, because he's got these, uh, these smaller plants, the distribution plants in Boston, New York, and on the West Coast, along with places like Chicago, now he gets a national audience to make that whole point that the UAW has been traditionally, and he says going forward, will be the gold standard when it comes to unionized were benefits. And Rod, I have to ask, what does it mean to you that the UAW did not announce a new strike target on Friday? Do you think that means that a deal is near here? Uh, I do. Uh, I don't think it'll be 24 or 48 hours. It could be another week. It could be another two or even three weeks. And there might even be an expansion uh, if things don't go the way Fane wants them to go. But uh, the, the concession that General Motors has made here, along with the other concessions that have been, been made along the way so far, are impressive advancements for the UAW. All right. Thank you, Rod, for your insight and your perspective. We appreciate you joining us.